knife. Have you ever had motorhome or fifth wheel envy while setting up your travel trailer? Say after getting to your destination. After all, it's something we need to do to help our gas refrigerators operate properly, keep doors from inadvertently swinging open or closed, and get a decent sleep with a level bed. Those folks with the bigger rigs just push one button and the home does it itself. Well, Lippert has come out with a similar system for travel trailers, which replaces those wobbly hand crank or electric stabilizers that don't really do much. And our traveling companions, Jim and Julie, just had a set added to their grand design reflection. And man, are they beefy. Once deployed, the trailer is rock solid. Is it a do-it-yourself project? Sure, if you're really handy and have a good assortment of tools, but be warned, if you mess up, you pretty much eat the mistakes you make. Jim opted to have Camping World in Mesa, Arizona, and he paid full price for the installation, do the install so he would have recourse if needed. Camping World was great, and even consented to letting us film the process. At the same time, he had wires and fish tape run for future solar, and he added the new style tape-on tank sensors as well. The process entailed dropping the underbelly of the travel trailer, removing the old stabilizers, and cutting off the old weld-on mounts from the frame, repainting the exposed metal, drilling the frame for the new heavier mounts, fishing all the wires and sensors to a new control panel mounted in the basement, and several new panels to the travel trailer's interior control area. Removing and replacing the old tongue jack with a new, stronger model, which is also a part of the system. Ron, from Camping World, our installer, was very knowledgeable, patient, and had no problems contacting Lippert with any questions. Start to finish, the process took the better part of a week. But you gotta remember, this was labor intensive. Once finished, the systems were tested and calibrated, then the underbelly replaced, and all it takes now is a one button press and about three minutes and your home is level and solid. What a breeze. So how does it work? Well, park your travel trailer in your RV site on reasonably level ground, unhook and move your tow vehicle forward. Open the compartment with the control head and press the level command. The front levelers come down and do an initial side to side level. Then the tongue jack raises itself off the ground. The rear levelers come down and set the front to back level and the system completes the side to side. The whole process takes about three minutes. Enter the travel trailer, check for level and you're done. To leave, go back to the control head and press the command to lower the travel trailer. The rear levelers retract, the tongue jack lowers, the front levelers retract, and the tongue sets its height to where you started the whole process so that you can back your tow vehicle, back under the jack, to reconnect the trailer to your tow. It doesn't get much easier than that. Cost? Well, the system comes with everything you need and costs anywhere from about $21 to $2,900. You also pay for about 12 hours or so of labor if you don't do the install yourself. 
Just be aware, Lippert would prefer an authorized dealer do the work for warranty reasons. And Camping World Mesa treated us very well. Your mileage may vary. We're betting that in the near future, we'll be seeing these start to come as an option on newer towables. So if you're new to our channel, please give us a like and consider sharing it with your friends. If you've seen some of our videos before or you enjoyed this one, please hit the subscribe button. You can also get notifications on your YouTube channel when we drop a new video by clicking on the little bell icon. If you have any questions about this video or its contents, please leave us a comment below and you can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We hope you got something out of this and we hope you have a great RVing experience. See you soon. Oh, hi guys. You know, I've got a pretty good wife. The other day she bought me this watch. Don't really know how to use it yet, but one thing she did say was, don't push this button. What the? Oh.